electricity, and circuits. Class 6, Science In this lesson, we will learn about sources of electricity. Electric cell Electric bulb Electric circuit Circuit diagram and symbols Electric torch Conductors and insulators and electrical safety. Electricity is used by all of us almost all the time. We use it for various reasons. Things that run on electricity have electric current pass through them. They are called electric appliances. A refrigerator, electric light bulb, electric fan, and washing machine are examples of electrical appliances. Most of the devices and machines we use, such as an electric iron, oven, room heater, etc. work when an electric current flow through them. The common electric bulb is also called an incandescent bulb. Let's look at a transparent electric bulb. You will see a thin filament that is, a very thin metal wire. The filament heats up, when an electric current is passed through it. It heats up so much that it begins to glow, and give out light. It is filled with an inert gas, so that the filament does not burn up when it gets hot. Sources of electric current A device that can be used to produce an electric current is called, a source of electric current. Common sources of electric current are cells and batteries. And electric currents, that we get from plug points in houses. A very useful kind of cell, that we use very often, is the dry cell. Due to a chemical reaction that takes place in cells, and batteries, electric current is produced. Flowing water or steam, is used for the large-scale generation of electricity. An electric cell produces electricity using the chemicals stored inside the cell. Let us look at the parts of a dry cell. Each cell has two terminals, positive and negative. The cell is marked with plus and minus, to indicate these terminals. Common uses of these types of cells torch, remote, clock, etc. The dry cell contains dry or semi-solid ingredients. The dry cell consists of an outer covering made of zinc. Inside the zinc container, a paste of ammonium chloride is present. Inside the paste, a cardboard container, containing powdered manganese dioxide, is placed. The cardboard container has microscopic holes in it. Such materials are called porous materials, through which a chemical reaction takes place between ammonium chloride paste and powdered manganese dioxide. A rod, usually carbon, with a metal cap is dipped into the manganese dioxide. The whole thing is then sealed, with only the metal cap sticking out, so that the contents do not spill out. Advantages of a dry cell They are easy to use in a simple electronic device. There is no worry about linkage in the dry cell. Dry cells are safe during transportation. They are small and lightweight. Different cells use different methods for producing electric current. Primary cells can be used only once, and have to be thrown away once they have been used. There are cells that can be recharged once they are drained. These are called secondary cells. They are used in mobile phones, laptops, and batteries. Nowadays, solar cells are being used in many applications. Solar cells use sunlight to produce electric current. Many calculators are powered with solar cells. Solar panels made up of solar cells, are used to light up streets, and many homes. Three basic conditions are required for an electric current to flow. 
A device such as a cell, a battery, or a plug point acts as a source, used to produce an electric current. A wire made of a metal such as copper, silver, or aluminum, will allow electric current to flow through easily. An unbroken loop running from one terminal of the source through various appliances, back to the other terminal of the source. A cell is a single unit device that converts chemical energy into electric energy. A battery usually consists of a group of cells. A cell is usually light and compact as it has a single unit. The battery normally consists of several cells, thus giving it a bigger size and bulky look. A cell supplies power for a shorter period of time. A battery can supply power for long durations. A cell is used mostly for lighter tasks that require less energy. It is used in clocks, lamps, etc. A battery is mostly used for heavy-duty tasks. It is used in automobiles, inverters, etc. Cells are usually cheap. Batteries are much costlier. An electric circuit is a path through which electric current flows. An electric switch is a device, usually electromechanical, used to open and close an electric circuit. This disables and enables the flow of electric current, respectively. Difference between closed and open circuit. An electric circuit in which there is a gap, or break, that disallows the flow of current is called an open circuit. An electric circuit that has a closed loop, through which current can flow is called, a closed circuit. Open circuit represents the off state, of the circuit. Closed circuit represents the on state, of the circuit. An open circuit is a discontinuous path. A closed circuit is a continuous path. In open circuit, the electric current cannot flow in the circuit, that is, current is zero. A definite current flows in the closed circuit. A common example of an open circuit is the circuit of a lamp with a switch in the off state. An example of a closed switch is the circuit of a lamp with a switch in the on state. A circuit diagram represents a schematic representation of the components used in a circuit. Various symbols are used for each component used in an electric circuit. Look at the different symbols and their function. Wire Helps in the flow of current in the electric circuit and is made up of metal such as copper. Bulb Converts electric current to light energy and heat energy. Cell Source of current with positive and negative terminals. Battery Source of electric energy and is made up of two or more cells. Switch Device used to make or break a circuit. We use electric switches to turn on or turn off electrical devices and machines. An electric switch is a device that is used to open or close an electric circuit. When we open an electric circuit, the flow of electric current in the circuit stops, and when we close an electric circuit, an electric current flows through it. In an electric circuit, a switch is sometimes referred to as key. The key is represented by a symbol. An electric torch has one, or more dry cells inside it, which acts as the source. The cells are connected through a switch to a small bulb. When the switch is pushed to the on position, the circuit is complete, and the bulb glows. When the switch is pushed to the off position, the circuit is incomplete, and the light goes out. Conductors and insulators A material that allows electric current to pass through it is called, a conductor of electricity. All metals are conductors. A few non-metals such as graphite, are also conductors of electricity. A material, that does not allow electric current to pass through it, is called, an insulator of electricity, such as a rubber band. And plastic ruler. Examples are glass. 
wood, pure water, dry air, etc. Electricity can be very dangerous if electrical devices are not handled carefully. We should be aware that handling of electrical devices can lead to serious consequences. Never play with electrical wires and sockets. Your hands should always be dry when you touch electrical appliances, plugs, sockets, etc. Do not touch the metal pins of the plug when removing or putting in plugs into sockets. It is advisable to cover all plug points with insulation tapes if small children are around, so that they do not put their tiny little fingers into the holes of plug points. Electrical devices such as laptops and mobile phones should not be connected to an electrical socket for charging while using earphones. 